Dr. Shannon Clark here. I am actually in ultrasound today, reading ultrasounds, and I want to show you why we as a center offer universal cervical link screening to all patients, including those who have never had a history of preterm birth, and that is offered at 18 to 22 weeks during that anatomy scan. Okay, so this is an example of a picture. It's not the patient's picture that I had today, but it is uh, very similar. This is the fetal head presenting part. This is a placenta. Uh, that's right up to the uh, internal os. The internal os is the opening that's closest to the fetal presenting part. It is dilated, 0.42 centimeters. The black represents amniotic fluid and the amniotic fluid sac has funneled into the cervix about 2.9 centimeters. The external os is right here, which is the os that's closest to the vagina. And the residual length of the cervix or the remaining length of the cervix is 0.58 centimeters. Um, but the total length, if you went from internal os to external os, is about 3.5 centimeters. So this is a classic example of cervical insufficiency. Patient was completely asymptomatic, just here, first pregnancy, here for her anatomy scan. Now, unfortunately, it is not standard of care that for all centers who do these ultrasounds to offer you know, a universal cervical length screen. And even though we do, there are a lot of patients who still refuse it. But I will tell you, since we have implemented, implemented universal cervical link screening in our patient population, we have picked up a lot of cases of this. And because this is cervical insufficiency with funneling membranes, she needs a rescue cerclage where she would go in and get a stitch in that cervix. Now, she can decline. This patient didn't, but that's the treatment. Now the other component of this exam, since she does not have a history of preterm uh, birth, is to do a speculum exam to see if the membranes are visible at the external os, and in her case, they were. That's why a cerclage is recommended. In patients who have this, who don't have membranes that are visible, then um, you could offer vaginal progesterone. One other point to know, it is important that any center who does or offers universal cervical link screens be certified to do so. All of our techs and us have been certified to accurately measure the cervical length. Not just anybody should do it.